Before departing, I made uh, three modifications. I will reduce the vertical speed, this uh, 1 to 2,000 uh, feet per minute, something like 800. And uh, also I changed the map to GPS mode. Please be extremely attentive. And here we see that we have our GPS course, isn't it? Now, this is extremely important here, you see. We will use localizer 1, but still, since we are nav mode, we will use nav mode in the beginning and not the glide slope. Of course, actually, we have not caught the glide slope yet, isn't it, in the localizer. So we will use this mode. I see that I changed the heading. Okay, I don't have the heading of our runway, but I set the heading to 100 degrees, uh, 10 actually, runway 10 we have. So this is the heading of the runway, okay. Since this is a very short flight, it is extremely important to reach 4,000 feet as soon as possible because, as I said, at about 4,000 feet, it is quite likely to catch easier the ILS frequency, this 109.50, and to see here, it will be somewhere here, our glide slope. So, CTRL DEL. I think it works, the command, isn't it? Or you press here, you release your parking brakes. Flaps I set. Yeah. I set flaps again. 220 will be just fine, I think. So, ladies and gentlemen, nose down. Try to be lined up with the runway. We press the brakes in the beginning. And here it goes. about 55 something I don't know why torque is activated though I have it deactivated I really don't know I feel the torque okay somewhere here we climb speed about 65 autopilot engaged you see here autopilot engaged and immediately I engage nav mode please have a look you see, we didn't turn a lot because we are lined up with our flight plan already. It is just a coincidence, we could as well turn. A knowledge. So now important is, I retract my flaps, isn't it here? Important is to reach uh, 4000 feet as soon as possible. And we have a long way, 700. Also press BDU to correct your elevation. Otherwise you should use the barometer settings. It is good to climb to 4,000 feet as soon as possible. Hands free, we are on autopilot. And we see that vertical speed is engaged. Our altitude is engaged 4000 feet and nav mode is engaged here on you see and we use the GPS at the moment excellent so CTRL home I will change the vertical speed because as I said I want to climb as soon as possible to 4000 feet 1000 Actually, here we control 1.4 even. Have a look here. Just be careful not to stall. If you are about to stall, you will reduce your vertical speed here. It is a very short flight. Okay, we are close to stall. I reduce CTRL and I reduce my vertical speed here only 500 feet we are close to 3000 feet we are on course again I will make it steep 1.4 this time just monitor your speed here not drop 
Yeah, here it will get dangerous, let's say about 60 something. Only 400 feet because we are about to reach, here it is, we are about to reach 4000 feet, which is our desired altitude. And have a look now here, 3.8, a speed of 90. You see, straight and level flight, this is good news, which means that we must reduce our speed, let's say about 100 knots, we are not climbing anymore, and I suppose that soon we will line up with the runway after this waypoint here on the BFR map. Or you can as well, okay, you can as well, of course, use this map here, but it is okay. It is slightly inconvenient. That is why I prefer the VFR map. Excellent. The airport is right in front of us. Okay, maybe you can see the runway. It is somewhere here. Is the runway. We leave the GPS mode here. And right now, see here the glide slope. You see? We activate approach. Here it is. Approach. Maybe not yet. We are waiting the glide slope to be exactly here on the middle. And at this moment, at this particular moment, we will activate approach. The glide slope must not be higher or lower. Must be exactly here on this line. This is the glide slope. You see? Here it is, a speed of 90. Exactly in the middle. Approach, okay? So that means that now we have both lateral and vertical navigation. And actually, to be honest, I was extremely glad to see that the ILS approach with the Cessna 172 was extremely precise. You see, we have a vertical speed, have a look here, a rate of descent of about 600 feet, and this is correct. And this is something that doesn't happen very often. Just to have a look at our speed, not to approach very quickly. We go to 3000 feet, hands free. I don't touch nothing at all. Approach here. When it will reach this point, you will activate the approach. If you have both the glide slope and the localizer, I mean, here is approach. If you don't, then you will continue with nav mode. Okay. Because if you press approach and the glide slope is not in the middle, I mean, nothing will happen. See how precise it is. We are just descending, hands-free. I just monitor my speed, not to reach the runway very quickly. Our speed is about 90. If you increase your speed slightly, you can as well increase the rate of descent. Here is the city, here is Saloniki. And we use the ILS approach of runway 10. 2.5 thousand feet, hands free. You changed here CDI. Let us take this out, let us take this out to show you better. Exactly, you will press here and you will have localizer 1, okay? And you will leave the GPS mode, you see lock mode, lock 1, the green line, not the pink. Here have a look also. 
you see our next wave point and see also that our heading is correct because I said heading to 100 okay we can see the heading on our compass here because we know that uh, runway is runway 10 100 degrees there is nothing to worry about it 1.8 a speed of 93 hands free and we rely on our instruments it can bring us almost to the threshold of our runway this kind of approach I don't set my flaps yet runway 10 is right in front of us hands free we continue altitude about 1000 will be soon 1000 also press BDU this I always say correct your barometric pressure I also have some cameras but maybe it is not the proper moment to, to play with the cameras isn't it here is the town here is the Saloniki you see how wonderful here is Perea, Mihanyon and other cities okay let us be more concentrated we still on autopilot and uh, we follow the glide slope you see the glide slope old 5 I suppose we will correct a little bit our course yeah okay it is not perfect so somewhere here at about uh, 400 feet I disengage the autopilot I set my flaps also there is a fence here we must be a little bit careful there is a fence the truth is that I hate fences okay we are, abo we are above the fence isn't it and the runway this one runway 10 is the longest runway so I didn't record isn't it Thirty-five is our vert vertical speed only. Sixty-two. This is quite low. Okay. Keep it on the ground. Sixty-four. A touchdown of about thirty feet per minute. Okay. Don't be in a hurry to press the brakes you can make things even worse Wh what is this one I, I want to have a look at this one I want to have a look at this one here this is not a flying carpet here let me have a look at this gentleman maybe not to insist isn't it just to evacuate the runway I had tested this eyeless frequency already because I had, the, let's say, a bitter experience of the landing. Though the landing with the 777-200 here in Macedonia Airport was just excellent. But somehow, okay, we had a few missed approaches. Maybe not to insist. Okay, I will stop somewhere here. I think no one is coming. Just to conclude in the beginning CDI here please have a look here the CDI in the beginning we used this mode the GPS mode okay I don't see the whole uh, flight plan now but anyhow when we were somewhere here when we entered Thermicos Gulf we were somewhere here maybe this was our wave point so somewhere here we left the GPS mode this pink line here and we went 
to lock mode because we have here set our ILS frequency here 109.50 and please don't forget that this is the active frequency please write this down it is the second one it is not this one okay and we change the frequencies pressing exactly here swap frequencies so when we were about here lined up with the runway we saw the glide slope somewhere here and you press approach exactly at the moment that your glide slope is in the middle here otherwise you will see the glide slope going up or going down so you cannot use the ILS approach so when the glide slope is exactly in the middle exactly here you press approach and you monitor your instruments and good luck and you will have a perfect landing ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching this clip and hope to see you soon to the next one till then you take care and bye for now Salut, ça va? T'as vu, je suis là. Je suis rentré chez nous, pas te déjà debout. Tu t'es inquiété, mais j'avais pris les clés et j'étais pas bien loin. Et je savais bien que je reviendrais. Voilà, c'est fait. Salut, ça va? T'as vu, je suis là. J'ai fait des tours autour de la maison Fumé beaucoup, mouillé mes joues, touché le fond J'ai shooté dans tous les cailloux des environs Puis je suis rentré à la maison Salut, ça va T'as vu, je suis là Ne sois pas fâché J'ai fait du café J'ai pris des croissants en bas j'ai fait mon petit tour Deux, trois fois rien C'était pas fait pour Que t'aies du chagrin Salut, ça va T'as vu, je suis là J'ai fait des tours Autour de la maison Fumé beaucoup, mouillé mes joues Touché le fond J'ai shooté dans tout Y'a pas mieux que toi.